Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West Channel. Well, for the past week we've had, every single day we've had on and off rain, we've had some heavy rain. So it's very hard to find dry tinder nowadays. So let me, let me gather some up and then we'll go ahead and explore some punk wood, coal extenders, ash tinder, and uh, see if we can do some solar ignitions. All right, let me show you this punk wood again. Every time we work with punk wood, I like to show you what good punk wood is. Not necessarily rotted wood, but it's uh, where the dry rot fungus has gotten into it and gotten the density in such a way to where you could squeeze it on it and it'll spring right back out. That's your ideal punk wood. Let's go ahead and use the Gatorade bottle this time. I'm always using the Wallet Fresnel lens or that great big beer bottle. There's the most one of the most common bottles you'll find out in nature where people have been trashy and just thrown it out. Now the photons from the sun are gonna come through this convex area through the water and back through the concave area. I had an ant crawling up my leg. And you want to find the hottest part of the focal point on your finger first. Because it's just a waste of time to, to try to dial it in on the punk wood. That's it right there. Let's try it. And this can take a couple of minutes, but it sure is a lot less trouble than trying bow drill or hand drill. All right, I smell the punk wood, so that's a good sign. Maybe we're close. I'm gonna take some of that t-shirt material that we gathered the leaves up in, and I'm gonna make ash tinder out of it. And since it's so much darker than this punk wood, I'm expecting a quicker reaction, a quicker ignition. And now, after all this time, I see that my bottle should have been a little bit closer to the punk wood. Because when I made that micro adjustment, which was probably just about a quarter of an inch, is when it really started to take off. So let's sit here and watch it uh, spread a little bit. And I, whenever I work with a coal extender, like punk wood or ash tinder, I like to show you how long it can last. So let's just put this in the hobo stove for safekeeping. I'll show you how I make up a little bit of ash tinder, which any tinder that you impregnate with ashes will turn it into a coal extender. It'll catch a weak ignition, ignition source like this solar or like a, an empty BIC when you use the little mini ferro rod in it or like the last little dying ember out of a fire.
Let me get some ashes and we'll saturate that. Any wood ashes will do. There's nothing special about the ashes. But what you do have to do when you're making ash tinder is to saturate it thoroughly. You really, you really have to impregnate it. So take as much time as you think you need to get this really saturated through and through on the fabric or whatever, whatever tender you're using. You see the smoke? I guess you can still see the stove. The punk wood is just going to keep on there and completely consume itself. If we don't get to it first and put it in a tender bundle, that's the beauty of a coal extender. All right, so we won't, uh, see, it's saturated through and through. Let's go ahead and try to ignite it. Once again, you're coming through this convex area. The photons are coming through the water and coming through the concave area. And then we're gonna find the tightest focal point on our finger first before we put the ash tender under there. That's it right there. And I'm expecting this to ignite quicker since it's a lot darker. Well, the bottle just ain't gonna do it. So that's just the way it goes. I've already spent, I've already spent about 15 minutes on it. Let's see if we even have any punk wood left. Punk wood's gone. Let's go ahead and break out the wallet for nail lens. Can you see it? Now, we'll let this burn and simmer and cook and hold that ember and let's get some more punk wood. And here's our punk wood. Ridge is towards the sun. This is the ridge side. I gotta, I keep being out of frame, I know. Now that one should keep going. Let's go ahead and make a fire with the uh, ashed tinder. All right, and of course the punk wood's still burning. Let's try it out.
All right, y'all, just a little practice, a little solar ash tender, coal extender, punk wood. I like to practice a little bit every day and take you along with me if, if you can stand these techniques. I notice that uh, solar ignition is not all that popular on my channel. I don't know why, though, because it's just so much easier than any other, than the friction fires that I use. So, all right, y'all. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.